is Terhi Koskinen and I'm making my first not subtitled process video for you. Uh, I'm creating a layout for Create a Smile with Create a Smile stamps and stencil and some chipboards. I'm using a black and white picture and some grey and light pink uh, toned papers and white cardstock. I'm starting with gel medium, making a waterproof surface for my cardstock just to make sure uh, my colors and wet mediums doesn't get the paper crumble too much. Uh, I'm making even, even surface and once it's dry I'm starting to stamp with one, two, three four, uh, no four, <laughs> just one, two, three, stamp. I'm using um, archival ink to make sure that ink won't spread out. Once I'm uh, happy with my stamping, I'll, I'm doing some random circles and then using my boxes stencil from Create a Smile. I'm using a gel medium with the stencil and choosing gel medium instead of gesso or modeling paste to make a transparent background. I want those numbers to uh, shine through the layers. A gel medium will be totally transparent, which is very nice. And once it's dry, I'm spreading some colors on it. Uh, I'm using teal green and mint green and spreading them with a water, watercolor brush. Um, you probably don't see that well here, but uh, those uh, boxes and straight lines and little squares will make nice little details on the page. I'm taking the loose color off and adding some more to the places I want the colors, colors to be. I could really keep on coloring and trying again and again and again as I'm using grey and other light colored patternet papers I can kind of play more with the back, background to create this um, wonderful green tone and once I'm happy with it, I'm going to create a paper cluster, but before that, <laughs> I'm creating details more and more, and drawing more and more. Um, I found some older papers from my drawers. They are from Seven Dot Studio and So Delicious, and I love scrapbooking, which is a manufacturer which doesn't exist anymore. Anyway, I'm cutting some pieces of papers uh, randomly. I don't measure them at all, just cutting and making some squares and um, tiny pieces and just cutting. Uh, then I take uh, one piece which is a little larger than the image is and then just layering the papers. I don't have any secret of layering. I'm just making some layers and attaching them together with the stapler and then uh, gluing it down to the background. Uh, I'm using double-sided tape and to make sure it really uh, hangs on there, I'm adding a few drops of glue. Uh, I'm always leaving uh, little lines, um, not, not attached lines to the background to make sure I can stuck more papers uh, under, the, under the layers if I ever want to. Um, I put some sewing thread first and then the paper layers. And now I can keep on going to uh, adding more and more layers like forever. So sometimes few layers are enough, but 
this time it it kind of look it it needs more and more uh, the background color isn't that bright green anymore as I put those papers on it it's actually looking quite good uh, I'm using 3d foams to attach the picture um, mine are quite thin so I put two layers of them I'm still not happy with the layering so <laughs> adding more paper layers and then another layer of sewing thread and flicks of mist to make sure the paper layers look like they have born to be there it's looking more even to my eye if I add some mists now then I'm adding the picture uh, I'm using create a smile chipboard for this layout and I thought to make some shine sheen to the layout by using embossing powder so I'm using versatile ink and then adding white embossing powder and heating it up uh, that's very usual technique and it gives nice shine sheen whatever the right word is um, I'm gluing the chipboards to the places I want them to be I love to add the title um, on top of the picture uh, that's me and my hairy friend Mustika going on the right uh, these are circles, hard circles, chipboards and adventure chipboards. Uh, and these little arrows are enamel dots, which are so cute. And the color is like the most perfect ever. It's um, deep turquoise and it, it matches perfectly to my background. After adding few flicks of white ink, I'm done with the layout and I would love to hear some feedback about my videos if you prefer thought videos or with music. Uh, thanks for joining me and always remember to create a smile. Bye bye!